Hello guys, today I want to show you common problems we can have with uh, BNC test leads. This one is from, uh, is from Picoscope and uh, you have a positive and negative lead and then uh, on the other side of your cable you have a BNC adapter. Now when you look at the, the uh, BNC adapter, the outer part of this BNC connector is a ground and uh, this pin in the middle of it is actually your positive. Okay, so when you are checking the uh, test leads, what we need to do first, just look, check for the obvious damage because they're exposed to heat, moving parts on the engine, they can get wrapped up around the belt or uh, can touch the hot exhaust and they can, they can damage the insulation. So the first thing we need, we need to do is just kind of look around and make sure that nothing is, there's no obvious external damage. Now, if once that's done, we need to check the uh, leads for continuity and make sure they are not open. So we're going to use, just going to use the ohm meter and uh, we're going to take two leads on this ohm meter and uh, I'm going to connect one end, one lead to my ground and then I'm going to touch the ground side. Now this one actually has a plastic around so you have to kind of uh, touch right in here and uh, we should have a very uh, low resistance and you can see we've got, we've got 0.2 ohms. Now I'm going to move my lead to a uh, positive. And now we're going to touch this little pin inside of this adapter, inside of this connector, and we should have a very low resistance, 0.3 ohms. And something else we have to check, now we know they're not open, but we have to check, make sure they're not shorted. I'm going to leave this lead to my body, to my positive lead, and now I'm going to I'm going to touch the ground side on my BNC connector, and we should not have any any kind of continuity, and it should be uh, OL. Okay, so now we know there is no short between the positive lead and the negative con uh, on the connector. So now we're going to move to a ground side, and I'm going to touch the, uh, this middle pin and we should not have continuity and we don't. So that means these leads are fine, they are not open, they are not, they are not short, short internally shorted, so we can proceed without testing. <clears throat> now problems. Common problem, especially on the, on the cheap type of um, test leads like uh, like this one this is from uh, I've got this off of eBay what can happen is that this BNC connector get loose and uh, when you connect to your test lead and then you connect it to your circuit as stuff moves around you're gonna lose your continuity and then you're gonna see a dropout on your on your uh, signal thinking that you have a dropout on, on you know maybe on your I don't know if you maybe checking the uh, camo crankshaft sensor and all of a sudden you see zero, zero volts you think you have actually a drop on your, on your signal from your sensor but it's actually in, in, inside your lead. This is the lead that I used the last year and uh, it, was, it messed me up big time so I just cut the end of it. I don't, I don't want to use it anymore. I don't want to put it back in a, in a drawer and get messed up again. So I'm just going to show you what happened. So I'm going to connect this to, a, my, to my green channel and uh, you can see down here, Maybe I can change the turn a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just going to connect it to the battery here. and then uh, this one I'm just going to use it how to get a clip to secure it on my, on my ground on my, on my battery and you can see you can see we have good steady steady signal but if I start moving this we have glitches look at that so I was uh, I don't know I think I was uh, checking like a I was driving the car, I had my current clamp on my, uh, uh, I think it was fuel pump or something like that. And uh, as I'm driving the car, I can see all these 
you know, dropouts in a current, uh, basically it was, it was a test that was messing me up. So let's put a uh, good lead on it and see what that's supposed to look like. So that's one thing that can happen with these BNC leads, and it's very common actually. Let's go take a Pico leads, connect that. and it says shut the and you see it and no glitches whatsoever and that's what you want no matter how much how far I, I stress this uh, BNC connector there are no dropouts whatsoever we have a steady voltage on our on our uh, lab scope so these are good leads okay so that's one problem you can have with the uh, BNC leads and they can really mess you up when you check in your circuit. Now this lead, this set of leads here, are actually shorted and I'll show you how, what, how that looks like. So we're going to do the same thing that we did. Uh, so I'm still on my own. I'm going to take one lead and I'll connect the ground. I take another lead. I'm going to touch my ground, and I should have very low resistance, which is 0.2 ohms. But now, if I if I touch this middle pin here, which is the positive, we have very low resistance. 0.3 ohms. These are direct short. They have direct short. Let's do the same thing with the. On the positive side, if I, if I touch the ground, they are internally shorted. So, and these are actually uh, leads from uh, OTC Pegasus, and I'm kind of uh, surprised that OTC, they, they, they really look kind of cheap leads. Uh, I'm not sure why I did, uh, you know, I did OTC when this, this cheap on the leads, but let's just go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead. Um, I've got my uh, ohm meter here, and you know some some meters are actually gonna do a um, they, they calibrate the leads. That internal resistance of the leads is gonna get calibrated. So you're gonna start from zero when you do your measurements. So let's go ahead and do a uh, picoscope leads. I'm just gonna connect it. This is the yellow channel. Connect the leads. It says. Please short the probes. That's going to calibrate it. Okay, it's done calibrated. Now, when we separate these two leads, we're going to have open loop. Okay, put them together. We got zero ohms because it's calibrated. But it's now. Let's go ahead and uh, now let's do just a quick measurement with these leads and put across the battery. And we have 12.3 ohms, I mean volts. Okay, so we know that we, this works fine. So, however, let's just take the uh, these leads, I'm going to put them on my ohm meter, and immediately they are down to zero. They are internally shorted. Now, when we put this on a voltmeter, Sit on this. That's interesting. Now they are not open. Now they are. 
I think it's actually in here. Let's go back. Now there you go. When I when I touch, I can actually. It's interesting. Let's let's see this. We've got 12 volts. Let me get this bigger. Okay, now I'm going to pinch it here. Let's see. You know, somewhere, somewhere they're shorted. There you go, right in here. And I, it's so right in here. We have a short on these leads. Oh, it's get hot right in here. Now if I Somewhere they are shorted. Now I cannot duplicate the problem anymore, but we could see that they were definitely shorted. So, right in here, there you go. Right in here. If I'm if I pinch this part of the cable, my, my leads are, are shorted. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we connect to this voltmeter with our measurements. Let's see now. You can see the arcs right there. Now it's back to but you could see, I mean I don't want to do it anymore. Well, I think I did prove my point that we have issue on this on this uh, test lead for sure, and that's why we have to be very careful when, especially when you use like cheaper brand and something like that. You know, check these leads often, make sure there are no obvious damage on your outside of the you know the outside the leads. Check for continuity, check for short, check for open, and. Uh, Check these connectors to make sure they're nice and snug on your on your scope because when you start moving these things that they, you see dropouts in your signal, it's going to mess you up big time. And something else before I finish, if this happens, make sure to put this or repair the leads if you can, or just kind of like what I did with this one. These leads are cut the end of it. I don't want to mess around anymore because they're not they don't work right. So if you uh, you know I mark this one with, with my black. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use with these. I don't think I can repair it, but uh, anyhow, just to make sure you don't put them back in your drawer and do the testing with these because you can you can mess up your readings or you can you can damage your components if you have shorted leads. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.